I'm Sam I Am and welcome to Sam I Am Somewhere. Today that somewhere is, we are going to the Burlington Regal for another out of the theater movie review. It's Thursday night, that means it's movie night and tonight's movie is Dumb Money. This movie is based on a true story about GameStop. That is interesting. I am very excited for tonight's movie. We used to go to GameStop when I was a little kid buying video games for the Wii, Nintendo DS. But we haven't been to a GameStop in years. Before we get to this unfinished movie business, it's part of our Thursday night's tradition. We got to take really good care of this chicken business. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. We just watched Dumb Money. Let's do our review. I think the movie was okay overall. Adam up, you're up. What was your first reaction? I kind of had a little bit of PTSD watching this movie because they were all, it was like taking place between 2019 and 2021. They all had the, uh, the face diapers on. So it was a little traumatic seeing that. Don Solo, what was your first reaction? It was good. I, I, I liked it more than I thought I would. Let's move on to the positive things. My positive things was the music did a good job. Keith Gale was a little funny. They had some funny scenes. He did a really good job. Adam, what were your positive things? Uh, I liked the, the music that they had in the movie. I did, I liked the main actor. He, he was uh, the Riddler in the Batman movie. I liked uh, the other guy, what's his name, Davidson? James Davidson, what's that guy's name? Pete? Pete Davidson, yeah, I thought, I thought he did a good job as well. Uh, and it was a true story, and it was nice to see uh, Main Street get a win against Wall Street. Don Solo, what was your positive things? Uh, I would say the casting. I'd agree with the casting. Like, I, I really like who, who they picked to replicate everybody in the, you know, off the true story or whatnot. Let's move on to the negative things. My negative, my negative things was it smelled a little weird in the movie theater, and it was slow in the beginning. Adam, what were your negative things? That weird smell was uh, pee. Uh, my, my negative things, it seemed like everybody that was buying stock early on, and they, they were making money, they all had somebody that was like a negative Nancy in their life telling them to sell it. Those characters were very annoying. Don Solo, what were your negative things? Uh, green, once again with Adam, with the, just the, the people trying to talk everybody into selling, which I would have been one of those people because it's, uh, it's like gambling to me. So I was a little uneasy the whole time just thinking about risking money. Let's move on to the rating. I would rate it 8 out of 10. Adam, what would you rate it? We're pretty close. I'm going to say 7 out of 10. Don Solo, what would you rate it? 7. I, I really enjoyed it. Way better than I thought it was going to be. Would you pay to go see it or nah, just wait for streaming? Here you go see it. There's, uh, there's no new releases this week. This movie actually came out last week, and we saw a different movie. So, but this kind of ended our bad movie streak. Um, I would pay to go see it. It was pretty good. It was funny as well. Don Solo, what do you think? I would say... I don't know what I would say. It, it, either or. Like, it was a good movie, true story. Uh, I, I'm not disappointed I paid to go see it. What'd you guys watch? Well, 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 we did it all. We took care of the chicken business, we watched a movie, and we talked about it. Stay tuned for more out of the theater movie reviews coming to my channel very soon. So if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. <laughs> and you can subscribe anytime because it's free for you. Okay guys, thanks for watching and we will see you real soon.